Right now, I am on site where we are helping some homeowners build a natural home, which is going to be about 1,500 square feet. You've heard us talk a lot about certifications like net zero energy and also passive house here on this channel, but today we're talking about something a little bit different, a relatively new standard that focuses more on carbon and getting to zero carbon. Zero Carbon Certification was developed in 2018 by the International Living Future Institute, or ILFI for short. It's a third party verified industry recognized standard verifying that not only the embodied carbon emissions of a built project have been neutralized, but that the operational carbon, that is the energy used to operate the building, is also neutralized. To put it really simply, any emissions produced while building or while operating the building must be offset either on site or off site somehow. Now, who may be crazy enough to take on such an endeavor? Well, meet Ben and Lindsay. Here on our house build, our primary goal is to create a beautiful, high performance, non toxic, and low impact house that is both net zero or even net negative in terms of the carbon emissions that we put into building the house and also net negative related to the operational carbon it used to um, operate the house. A, a typical uh, everyday run-of-the-mill built-to-code house, thousand square feet, small one, could have embodied carbon of over 10,000 kilograms. If people made just a few simple switches, switching from vinyl to wood siding, vinyl to wood flooring, and switching out their um, pink insulation for dense pack cellulose, they could reduce that house to 300 kilograms of embodied carbon. A huge difference. Now on a build like ours, we're actually gonna sequester carbon. So we could have negative 12,000 kilograms of impact uh, with our house. And the industry has made a lot of advances in terms of high efficient heating and cooling, high really well insulated houses that are essentially a box made of petrochemicals. And unfortunately, the payoff time in terms of the savings of the emissions, the efficiencies related to the carbon that the houses are emitting is over the lifetime of the house, 50, 70 years. But in fact, what we find is that there's a lot of carbon used up front in the building of all buildings, not just uh, single family homes, that actually puts carbon in the atmosphere now. And the key thing that we have learned and that some, I would say, trailblazers in the industry related to green housing is doing, is that we're trying to focus on decreasing the carbon emissions of the building materials themselves in addition to looking at the carbon outputs and the carbon emissions caused by running the house itself. This is really a regular looking house, but it's just made out of, of clay and sand and straw and uh, wood fiber as opposed to plastics, petrochemicals. Not only is it better for the environment, it's obviously much, much better for um, the health of the people living inside it. A lot of people don't know that a lot of the materials used in mainstream housing are full of formaldehyde um, and other uh, red list chemicals and ours is going to be essentially free of all the red list chemicals. We're kind of stepping on the backs of a lot of the pioneers in the last 20 and 30 years who have focused and researched and spent so much time and energy developing and making more carbon neutral or carbon sequestering building materials accessible mm -hmm. to the public like ourselves. But it's not really the materials, it's also the fact that we have to understand what the amount of carbon is in each of these materials. And that's a whole other side of this, which is essentially called carbon accounting. And that is a field where we're basically looking at what are the emissions from the mining and the processing and manufacturing of a building material through to the sale, transport and installation of that product. And through all of the research that has been done by the manufacturers and industry advocates and non-for-profits, we now, as owner-builders, have access to all of those numbers at a fingertip. Uh, we are using an online carbon calculator called Beam Estimator. 
stands for Building Emissions Accounting for Materials. And by using this tool, we're able to track all of the materials we're using and their carbon emissions as they're going into the build, but also in advance of using them. So we can actually uh, predict what the final carbon footprint of our house will be. Uh, it helps us in choosing the materials we're using. Currently, the team is in the process of finishing the framing of this home, but when this house is complete, we're gonna have a complete breakdown of the carbon emissions for this project. Ben and Lindsay are even taking it a step further and looking at the energy that's needed to build the home. They're gonna be looking at things like the crew commuting to site, the delivery trucks that are bringing materials to site, and power tools that are being used on site. For the commute to site, they'll even look at the vehicle models and where they are traveling from. Needless to say, this is going to be a very thorough analysis of the carbon on this project. And if this is something that you are interested in, be sure to drop a thank you in the comments below for Ben and Lindsay, because this is a ton of work and they're graciously sharing it with us here on the channel. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the exciting projects that we have in the works and coming up. And until next time, remember to live consciously.